Hey, you guys, welcome. Spring is here. I am so, so excited because I love me some sunny weather. We're talking all about that body glow. So come with me as we check out Fenty and Wet n Wild and see the differences. <laughs> I've got two body illuminizers here. One is Fenty Beauty, which is the rave. And then we also have Wet n Wild's body illuminizer, which I truly feel is kind of like a dupe for this. I actually already applied it and I, that is why I'm wearing, I don't normally wear my little strapless pieces here, but I have it on today because I wanted to show you the difference. I have one on one side, one on the other and I'm gonna let Ness so we can kind of see. I'm gonna kind of go this way. I don't know. I've got it on my shoulder and all across my chest. So it stops right in the middle. This is one side, this is the other. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but that's the purpose of this video, isn't it? Fenty relaunched her body lavas and they came out last I want to say last year sometime and they like sold out. They're crazy. The price point on this is $59 and it comes in a box like this. The bottle is three ounces. It's $59. It's gold. The packaging is honestly beautiful. This is the brown sugar. So I need to explain this really quickly. I do not have the brown sugar. I'm gonna put the brown sugar on my arms. I actually purchased the Wet n Wild first. So I got it in rose gold because when I was looking online at the Fenty ones, they have three different colors now. This is the brown sugar. They have Trophy Wife, which is their new, it's like a gold. And then they also have Who Needs Clothes. And that one is like the rose gold one. When I was looking online, I thought I wanted the rose gold, but then when I got to the store and actually tried them on, I bought the brown sugar. So I got a sample of the rose gold to put on. So I'm actually wearing the Who Needs Clothes and the rose gold here. One is Wet n Wild, one is Fenty. I wanted to do this because the Fenty Again, it's a huge bottle, it's three ounces. I mean, clearly it's much, much larger than the Wet n Wild. $59 for three ounces, $10.99 for 1.52 ounces. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't have a problem dropping money on things that I love. I just don't. And it's a fault of mine. I'm not really proud of it, but it's true. If I love it, I want it. And so I, I get it. And then maybe I have regret later. Maybe I don't, but I do it anyways. Is there really that much of a difference to have a $59 price tag? So that is why we're doing this. Right off the bat, the look, I am not looking at the camera, but I did look in the mirror. And to me, they almost look exactly the same. I don't really see that much difference in either one. They both are shimmery, pretty, eh, like I, I like it. I don't see there's a huge difference there. So when I touch, one is kind of tacky and one is not. So there's another difference. They both come off on my fingers. So the transfer free on either one is a thumbs down, okay, because it's, literally all over my fingers. I don't know if you can see it, but, and that's just for me touching my shoulders. Okay, so, you know, there's that little test. That, that's the initial. It, they're, they're both, they, they both transfer. One's tacky, one isn't. I feel like when I look at them in the mirror, they're very similar. Again, this is the rose gold, not the brown sugar. I'm gonna show you the brown sugar in a little bit because, well, I purchased it, right? I wanted to go down their touch points on what each product uses as their benefit, okay? One, Rihanna's is a gel-based, and I did notice that when I 
put the product on, it is much more thick than the Wet n Wild. When you put Rihanna's on, it was like it was a thick gel and it wasn't rolling down at all. It was like just there and you can buff it out with a Kabuki brush, which that honestly is how they tell you to do. They both, it's funny because both brands sell Kabuki brushes as well. And the price point, I don't have the price point on those, but again, they're about as similar as 59 and 1099. Same, same deal with a Kabuki brush. So you, how you're supposed to apply it is you put a couple squirts and you just buff it into the skin. When I did Rihanna, it was very, not thick, but, but a good consistency to where I'm not rushing to blend it in. You just kind of move it around and it moved around with, the wet and wild it literally started dripping down so the the consistencies are totally different although wet and wild doesn't claim to be a gel based rihanna does so there's that one number two rihanna says it's like a veil so i have had different veils um, down through the years different fragrance companies have launched fragrance veils which it's almost like a very light shimmery lotion kind of. And so uh, that's what I'm assuming where they got that veil because it is very sheer. I mean, it, it's glistening, right? It's not like I've got glitter on me. It's more of a glisten. So that I think is totally on point. The Wet n Wild has a non-sticky customizable coverage. So meaning I think you could probably mix the Wet n Wild with something, maybe mix it with a lotion and you would get a thicker consistency. I haven't done that, but that would be something that would maybe work better because you're, you're gonna thicken it up a little bit because right now I'm not really liking the thinness of it. So if you thickened it up with a lotion and you could customize it that way, maybe it would work. The third claim for Fenty is light diffusing micro pearls. And you know, I am not a chemist, but what I'm thinking is as you blend it in, it kind of diffuses. And so when the light, we're not out in the natural light, but I'm sure when you're in the natural light, that's when it's going to do what it's supposed to do, the light diffusing part of it. So it has that. Now back to Wet n Wild is it is, it is infused with oils and vitamins. So it's got sunflower seed oil, it's got grapeseed oil, it's got vitamin E, it's got coconut oil. Again, makes sense that the consistency is different than the Fenty. There are some antioxidants in the Fenty, but as far as any beneficial skincare ben benefit, I was looking down the ingredients list and Wet n Wild is just kind of plain and it kind of throws it out there where Fenty has more of those scientific words that I looked up a few and I could find that, you know, they've got some polymers, they've got some antioxidants, they both have titanium dioxide. So they do have some protection that just UVA and UVB, that's just kind of natural. And I don't even know the SPF on that, but it, they both have that. They're both cruelty free. I did not see vegan on Fenty, but I did see vegan on Wet n Wild. Lastly, the scent. Hands down, hands down, Fenty blows Wet n Wild out of the water with the scent. Fenty is, has a floral vanilla scent, which honestly, okay. If I was getting married, forget it. I would get the Fenty just because of the scent. It's like so beautiful. Right when I even tried it on in the store, my husband was like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Wet n Wild is supposed to have a rose scent and I say supposed to because it's not there. The this, this scent is almost gagging, to be honest. It's not even a comparison there. Like the scent is just not, it's not rose. I don't know where they got that. It's not rose. I can't even describe the scent. Let me see. Yeah, it, it just smells, it just smells gross. Where this one, Oh my gosh, it smells heavenly. Like it, the scent on it is beautiful. So that's a little rundown. I still haven't told you which one is on which side. I hope you've been looking. I am going to now tell you, or do I let you decide? Do you, no. How many of you guys think that Fenty's on my left? And how many of you guys think that Wet n Wild is on my right? 
Well, if you think that Fenty is on my left, you are wrong. Fenty is on my right and Wet n Wild is on my left. Both of them are rose gold. One is Who Needs Clothes. One actually, I believe it says rose gold. That's the, that's, I'm gonna switch these right now. This is how it goes. Okay, Fenty is on my right. Wet n Wild is on my left. And I'm gonna tell you like they both transfer, but Fenty's pretty sticky. That's the only, that's the only thing. And I've heard different things. So it is a little sticky, I'm gonna say. But then this one is almost like you're wearing suntan lotion because of the oil. That really isn't a, de a deciding factor for me. And the color really isn't a deciding factor for me. The scent really, like if I had this all over my body, I honestly, I couldn't wear the Wet n Wild. I don't care if it's 10.99, I couldn't wear it. The, the Fenty smells heavenly and I could definitely use that as my fragrance for the night. So maybe that would justify the $59. I don't know. I do think it's pricey, you guys. So for my conclusion, you know, Fenty, $59, that is pricey for a body shimmer. Is it a great product? I think it is, honestly, I like it. I just don't know if it's worth $60 for what I would use it for. If you want to go grab the Wet n Wild for $10.99 and maybe, first of all, tolerate the scent, because the scent to me, honestly, that is a big, big downer in this whole thing. Other than that, it's pretty nice. So one last thing I wanted to do is because I got the brown sugar, I did want to apply it on, on camera to show you. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful, you guys. So hold on. Okay, so here is the brown sugar. And that's what I mean why it, how it doesn't move. It's a really great gel texture. And you just kind of buff it into the skin. So I'm gonna show you why I went with the brown sugar. I mean, it just gives this beautiful brown glow. And I will say you do not need much of the product. And the scent, oh my goodness, I'm smelling the scent. I'm gonna show you both of my arms together. I put the brown sugar on this side. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it when I'm putting it on and it's got like these gold slivers in it. It's so beautiful. Now my only thing is, one, it's tacky, and two, it transferred onto my hands. If I'm wearing, like if I touch someone, is it gonna come off on them? Like that wouldn't be cool. I couldn't find that it says, it does not say transfer free, which they're smart to not say that. And look, like it doesn't come off. And I don't know if it's just because, no, nothing. So that makes me feel like if I put on clothes, like it's not coming off at all. And I just put this on. It doesn't come off on the tissue at all, but it does come off on my fingers, on my skin. So I'm wondering if it's just like, it'll transfer on to other bodies, but maybe not your clothes. If you guys have tried it, or any of you guys have it from last summer, let me know in the comments, because I'm kind of curious, like if I wear it, do I need to be concerned about putting my hand you know, if I'm, at, if I'm at dinner and I put my hand on the table or I put my arm on the chair, is there gonna be glitter and it transfer onto that? Or is it like this tissue where it doesn't transfer, it's only gonna transfer onto other bodies? So I guess the question is $59 or $10.99? Is a body luminizer worth it to you? or can you make another body luminizer work that's a little less expensive? If you haven't subscribed, please do that and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we post a video. And give me a thumbs up if this video, you know, helped you, if it was informative, and hopefully helped you make a decision if you're looking into those for this summer. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.